Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. Got a squad right here I built around a Choice Specs Explod, which with these three coverage moves right here, Focus Blast, Fire Blast, and Boom Burst, it actually basically Oko's the entire tier. The only things that actually take hits are Toxapex can take one Boom Burst and then Chansey obviously eats up everything. So I actually can run Sleep Talk right here in case I run into some sort of a Moongus or Tangerth and they put this to sleep. I can Sleep Talk and ideally pull Fire Blast or Boom Burst against them and that can be very good for me. So ideally we can see that scenario. Scrappy does allow us to hit ghost types like Alolan Marowak and Blacephalon, so that's very helpful too. The speed is for defensive Mega Scissor, then we have max special attack Modest and the rest in HP. Banderous right here is the second Pokemon. I uh, like the offensive support it gives to x -Plow. just being able to go ahead and knock Chansey and blow back Toxapex is very valuable. Megalopony is the fastest Pokemon on the team because I do not have a Scarfer, so this is going to be my primary win condition in a lot of games. We have defensive leftovers Ferrothorn right here. One of our better Tapu Lele switch-ins as well as our best water resist for the team, our only one actually. We have Fire MZ Timid Heatran right here for Jolly Bulu. It is our stealth rocker. We have spikes on Ferrothorn. And then finally, a defensive Rocky Helmet Torn right here, which is basically meant to take on Kurtana. So that's going to be the team. It'll be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And let's go ahead and get right into the games. Alright, I got a game, and my opponent has a lot of just really weird picks right here between the Decidueye, the regular Swampert, and even the Skarm right here. I'm thinking the Alolan Ninetales would probably be the lead of choice. Either that or the Skarm. Now, I'm thinking Torn right here is just not a bad lead. He actually leads off with the Volcarona, or she, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Hurricane. Here's what I'm thinking. Just pressure this right away is totally fine with me. I really don't want to get swept, like, right away, so... Ideally, I can go ahead and hit right here. It'll put it in range of Fake Out, and I should 2-hit KO as if I can hit 2 in a row. Which would be very unlikely. I believe that's only a 40% chance, but... We'll see if we can make it work right here. So my opponent's just going for a game. Maybe. They switch out, okay, so they actually did not want to stay in. I do hit into Swampert for some nice damage, which is very cool. I'll go ahead and U-turn out here as the rocks are about to go up. Do I get an x plot here? I'm gonna get an x plot and I think this dies, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click Boom Burst. Uh, never mind, it lived. Not not very well, but it did. Really expected that to die. This is a strong Pokemon. So x plot picks up the first kill of the live. Very cool. Puts me in a tough spot versus this Metacham. I'm gonna go Torn here as... He just Zen headbutted, okay, so... That was able to knock me out very easily. I have to go lap. And uh, basically what I'm going to be doing here is... I believe fake out. It's not a bad play. Skarm comes in. So my opponent is not really predicting a lot. So I'm going to adjust and play a little bit more offensively. I'm going to go Heatran here first. Watch them double to Medi now after all this. I think they should just probably go for a Brave Bird slash Whirlwind here. But on the off chance they don't want to, I will go Heatran. Uh, yeah, they make the Medi double now, which is like... Very bad for me. I'm gonna go Landorus on this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click U-turn here. I don't think you risk me being Scarf, but I guess they could if they really wanted to. Okay, so they do go for U-turn. I mean, they do go out into Skarm here, so that's cool. I finally get in my Heatran, and... Do I value Rocks more? I, I think I have to win with a low Pony, so I think I actually do value Rocks here. Alolan Ninetales comes in. This has to hit a... What's it called? A Hypnosis on me to have any sort of threatening attack right here. So I'm going to go for a Fire MZ. My opponent decides to go right for the Aurora Veil. I'm assuming Volcarona comes out here and tries to win. Which it very well could, for sure. No, Metacham comes in. So this thing's a problem. <laughs> I'm going to go right here for the... So I feel like I thought I should actually keep this. I'm just going to intimidate it with my, my Landers here. And uh, proceed to bring out my... I'm thinking Lopunny after. Skarm is annoying. <laughs> Do I predict Skarm coming in? I'm just going to fake out. Well, I, I, should, I should be playing more offensively. Unfortunately, I got the one turn where I predicted that... Well, I said they would double, but I didn't act on it. I'm going to go Heatran here on the Roost. Huh. going to Magma Storm here. I think if my opponent stays in, my low bunny kind of just wins, which is what I'm going to go for here. This could be the last turn of Veil, too. I'm assuming it was Light Clay, but... I don't know, we'll see, because Medicham comes back in and gets a kill again, which is a really big problem. I'm really surprised Torn didn't take one. Okay, can I hit into Decidueye into range of my Lopunny? Nice. So Lopunny will kill this, and the Veil is gone, so... How healthy is the... that thing? 94? I'm gonna go Ferrothorn here on the Spirit Shackle, and... I think what I want to do is just go right for a Gyro Ball. They Spirit Shackle twice, that's totally cool. A Volcarona could come out here, I'm just gonna Gyro Ball that if it does. Uh, so Metachamp would come back in at 66. I'll have to Kalkide Jump Kick and see what kind of damage I'm doing. So right here I just Gyro Ball. It should knock it out. 
my opponent actually decides to go for a bug buzz. Uh, that burn is gonna cost me the game, I think, because unless they ha unless they don't have roost, they don't have roost. Okay. Okay, I need to hope this doesn't get burned. That's gonna be very important. Oh, there's scarf, but I lived. Huh. So Skarm would come back, Metachem comes in, so it's gonna fake out here. I mean, Xplot guarantees the accuracy, so I'll just do this on fake out. They actually risk high jump cake, a little bit interesting there. I gotta hope they don't have bullet punch, I think. Actually, my opponent guarantees the win if they switch out, I think. Yeah, they, they see it. They definitely see the win right here. So I'll go explode. It'll be able to get a kill, assuming I can hit. Let's see if Bloombirds does 40% just for the fun of it. I definitely lose right here. Did it do the 40%? It did. So Explod can do 40% to Skarm. Medicham comes back in and picks up the win right here. So Skarm got a couple kills, but unfortunately I did not act on the one turn where I said my opponent was going to double to Medi, which was unfortunate. They'll be knocking me out with Fake Out Plus. Probably Ice Punch here. Uh, bullet Punch. They actually had Bullet Punch. I don't know why they didn't click that against my low bunny. I guess not wanting to risk crit fake out would be the main thing, but I'll go ahead and drop a GG in chat since they're still here, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, so tough start for sure, but I think this next game is a lot more doable. Earthquake looks great, except for the Rotom Wash, of course, but I could try to banded U-turn out and weaken that thing a little bit multiple times, which I think could actually work out for me. I think my best lead right here is probably... So they'll probably lead Garchomp, and... So Lopunny or Torn can do well against that Pokemon. Lopunny would take so much recoil, though. I'm gonna lead Torn here. Rotom Wash is actually a totally okay lead with me. I'm going to try to knock off right here. Worst case scenario is I get Thunder Waved, which would be a little bit frustrating because this is my cart check. And breaking through and trying to hit a Hurricane is pretty much impossible. So I do knock right here. No Thunder Wave, please. Maybe just a Volt. Wisp is fine. I'm totally okay with a Wisp, actually. I knocked off Lesties. And actually, I can just U-turn out here, too. I'm not going to risk my Landorus. I'm actually just going to go Heatran, I think. On the Volt, yeah, I don't mind Heatran taking a little bit of damage here. It's an offensive Heatran, so it's not going to take hits from Lele anyway. Ferrothorn is going to be doing that. So, actually decides to bring out Garchomp. I will always go Torn here to defog any sort of hazards. Actually just clicked SD, okay. So I'm going to attempt to hit a Hurricane here and put it in range of my Lope Bunny. I kind of need to hit this, because this thing is a giant problem. Okay, I do. I get Continental Crust. This makes the Cortana a really big threat to me, but I, I think if I keep Lander as healthy, I might be fine against that. So I go Lopunny here. And I'm just going to Mega Evolve here and click Ice Punch. Don't really see the need to do anything else. Ferrothorn comes in. I got a Freeze on Ferrothorn, which is kind of big. In case they had Protect, I guess would be the main thing. I'm going to hide Jump Kick here, because it will do a lot. Worst case scenario is they thaw out and get the Protect off. That would be kind of sad. They did actually try to protect, so that's really bad for my opponent right there. Ice Punch did 16. I'm not going to risk any roll. I guess I should go Heatran here. And attempt to lay up hazards. Okay, so they do actually throw out on protect, so I'm glad I did not do it the second turn. Yeah, that freeze really sucked. I'm not going to deny that. But rocks right here are so valuable. What's my win con is what I'm trying to figure out. Low bunny probably. Rotom Wash comes in. Going to attempt to taunt here just to keep my rocks up. I think that's a good play. They just go for Volt Switch, okay, so not that big of a deal. I'm assuming if Garchomp comes in, it might SD again, perhaps? I don't need Heatran anymore in this game, so I'm just going to Fire MZ here and hope it can do the damage. They go for Rocks, okay, so this should knock it out, I think. I'm pretty shot confident uh, this will knock out Offensive Garchomp. Nice, we get rid of Garchomp right there. Still super worried about the Cortana, but as I said, Landers is healthy. Uh, like I said, I don't need this, I'm just going to Earth Power here. They should kill Sacred Sword, right? Now, this is where I kind of have to make a decision. Do I predict them to be Scarf or not? If I think I have to go with Landers here. And if they're not Scarf, then I probably lose, is what I'm thinking. I'll go for a knockoff here. It'll hit the Rotom Wash coming in. Yeah, Rotom comes in. This will take a lot here. It probably gets 2 hit KO'd. Not even, because I already knocked it earlier. That's right. Huh. Kind of sucks. I'll go x -Blood here. I need Landers for Cortana. There's no... Getting around that. Goes for will but that's fine. Allows me to just safely boom burst here. I'm assuming it may sack off the Ferrothorn. That's what I would do at least. I'm keeping my Ferrothorn healthy just for potentially a Leaf Blade sweep. That looks like very threatening late game. Okay, does Volt out. So this is going to get sacked off right here. This uh, Ferrothorn should go down from 16%. It's looking like we might have very two very close L's right here, which is a very... Very sad, just because Zam... Okay, actually, Lele is going to be... 
A very interesting decision, and Oko, that exam's about to come out and mess me up. Hmm. Ferrothorn can take a hit from Zam, I know that. Do I keep uh, Xplod here? I don't think I do. I'm going to sack off Xplod. My opponent might actually be throwing with these decisions. Because once I get rid of this Alakazam and knock off the the Cortana, I could be good. So Scrappy is not going to matter. Shout I don't know what they're trying to do here. But I knocked that out too. I guess they predicted Ferrothorn? I don't know. But you should always Psychic there. I don't really understand that decision. Cortana comes in again. I'm going to attempt to sack this off. Maybe my opponent will actually... Do that? Okay, now I get to bring out Landorus here. Knockoff is really free just because... Like, they should be Scarf at this point based on how they played it. And it, it'll get rid of the other two Pokemon, which is very beneficial. See, so, yep, it gives me that. Rotom Wash probably comes out. Is what I would guess. I think if I switch to Ferrothorn, if Cortana comes back out, I guarantee the win. Because if they Sacred Sword, I come back in with the Landorus. So yeah, Ferrothorn's the play here. Every time. Yep, and they go for Leaf Blade. So I don't... My opponent kind of choked, for sure. I'm just going to Gyro Ball here. No reason to risk a power-up miss. Yeah, so my opponent tried to knock out my Landers for the Cortana endgame. But at this point, my opponent cannot win the game. I guess maybe if they... No, there's no win. Earthquake... Banded Earthquake definitely kills. So yeah, this has to come back in. I'll just spam Gyro Ball here. Yeah, they try to lock into Leaf Blade, it does 11%, and yeah, I'll be able to win this game in the end right here, so I'm not really sure what the whole sacking your entire Psychic Terrain core to x -Blood was, but I'll take it, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, I got the next game right here, definitely think I should be 0-2 right now, but we are somehow 1-1. One one. My opponent's team is blown away by x -Blood. nothing switches in except for Heatran, and Mawal. Mawal's gonna get 2 at KO'd. Heatran, I guess, is the bigger problem, because it can actually take my hits, I might have to Focus Blast. It'll depend on what the Heatran is, but I think right here I want to lead off with my... Something that can do well against Kaldeo. Torn can do well against Kaldeo, so I'm going to do lead off here with Torn. Greninja leads on my opponent's end. I have to go Ferrothorn here because I cannot let Torn take an Ice Beam. And I really want to try to prioritize Hazards. Really good Heatran mid-ground by my opponent right there. I actually saw that being an option, but that's okay. I'll go right here to Torn on the rock. So if this is Fire EMZ, I'm about to go down. And I'll completely acknowledge that. I'll defog here. It's just toxic. Okay, so I'm going to U-turn out here into my Landorus as the rocks go back up. Okay, so this is fine. My opponent should switch out right here, but I'm going to Earthquake on the off chance. Uh, you shouldn't stay in. Yeah, you go Keld. Actually, you shouldn't go Keld. What? Earthquake would have blown that away. I'm very confused about that. I guess Torn can come out here in case it's Scarf. I don't want to let Lope when he take a Scarf Secret Sword. And uh, I'll just go for Hurricane and hit and knock out Keld. Nice. So my opponent clearly didn't rally that Keldeo much, which I'm very confused about. I'll go with Ferrothorn here and try to get up my hazards again. They could make the Heatran mid-ground again, or perhaps even a Mawile play, which I think would be a little bit more offensive, but I could see it. Oh, Spike goes up. Huh. Kind of bad. I'll Spike up here. Uh, okay, they actually have all that pummeling too. This might mess me up. So now that we know it's actually not Z, I can actually bring out Lopunny here, maybe. Heatran's not going to live a look. I have to go Lopunny. And uh, as much as I know, Bulu slash Lando is coming in. I'm going to high jump. Nope, I'm going to Ice Punch here. It's so obvious. Yeah, one of the two is coming in right here. I'm going to Ice Punch into the Tapu Bulu. Nice. going to get in Heatran here. A really good double, but I don't think or this will actually knock me out from that percentage anymore. I should live this. Wow, that thing is so strong. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. Do they not have Ice Beam? Spikes? What what other coverage did they show me earlier? They showed me... I know this clicked something else. I forget. They clicked All Out Pummeling. They clicked Spikes. They clicked like, Low Kick was All Out Pummeling. Okay, never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to go off the fact that Xplod can take one. Xplod's pretty light. I think it will live. And I got to get something happening right here. So I'm going to Boom Burst right here and hope it's enough. But this Purdy and Greninja is just messing me up with these hazards up. Really surprised Heatran couldn't take a 1 from 82. My opponent should just sack off Heatran here, or at least try to, which I wouldn't, I'm not going to predict anymore. 
I gotta hope I can actually live this. I'm not even gonna bother calculating it. Nothing else really comes in right here. It just blows me away. Okay, do I have any ch chance of winning right here? Is there anything I can do? I can high jump kick here and probably two hit KO that that Bulu with high jump kick plus return. Okay, this comes in. I gotta hope Ice Punch kills. Either that or I go Torn. U-turn comes out. So this thing's in range of my Ice Punch now, which is cool. Looks to be Scarf Landers. I'm gonna attempt a defog here as they just Ice Beam. Okay, I think I just Ice Punch here. To guarantee the KO on that, okay. Uh, Bulu would come in here. Or I guess Mawile, okay. I have to go Landers. And I gotta hope that they expect me to not go for an attack. They should Sucker Punch, but... They actually just go Heatran, okay. So it's getting kind of down to the wire here, I'm not gonna lie. I could actually win this, maybe. The problem is, what I'm seeing is, the Mawile's definitely not gonna die to one high jump kick. And this just comes in an Ice Beam, so I have to stay in. I think I have to probably crit the high jump kick into the into the Mawile. So I'll go for high jump kick here, I do hit that. Yeah, I have to crit the Mawile. Or I can go for the freeze. I guess I'll try to freeze it, as I'm not able to go ahead and do that, unfortunately. So I'll drop a GG. We managed to get it kind of close, but the combination of Purdy and Gren plus Heatran and Keld, well, not really Keld, because they threw that out, kind of just blew me away right there. So a little bit unfortunate, but I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. My opponent's team is literally four threats with Kyurem, Deontay, Victini, and Buzzwell, and then the core of Celesteela plus Rotom Wash. So it'll be interesting to see whether I can defeat this. I think if they give me Buzzwell, Megalopony has a great shot. But other than that, I really don't see much potential right here. Maybe Banders breaking through stuff could be very good. Kieran Black would probably be their lead, so I'll actually lead off here with Lopunny. On either that or Deontay. Deontay does have to lead right away. We'll go right here for a fake out, and then I'll go ahead and switch out after. I'm mean, jump kick doesn't Oko, right? Let me just double check. Like, the thing is, if they really wanted to, they could not Mega Evolve right now. Deontay. High jump kick could Oko it. Yeah, they don't Mega Evolve, so they do actually recognize the fact that they shouldn't. I'll go Heatran here on the Kirin Black. Can Offensive Heatran take one hit from Kirin Black? I don't think so, but I'll calc it. Earth Power is probably blowing me away here. Huh. So if I'm a Z-Move Trapper, Earth Power could kill me. That's from no special attack too. I'm not risking it. I don't have any switch in here. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn on the Earth Power. Okay, he gets a crit, which is a little bit frustrating. It turns out to be, it looks like it, that's a ICMZ variant. I'm just going to Gyro Ball here. They just throw out the Z. Okay, so they got me right there with that Z. I really wasn't expecting it to just get thrown out right away. But I'll go I'll go into my low bunny here and try to put some pressure on if I can. I'll actually double to Explode on the Buzzwell. Nice, we get in. And uh, I don't know if I actually live a hit, so I'll go Landers here. Or I guess Torn is fine. If they're fast, they could outspeed me here, which is like worrisome. I don't know, my opponent's team is just so good. Their offense is so good against my team. It's the problem right here. Kieran Black is still at full health. I haven't really done anything this game yet. Yeah, Drain Punch probably o code my X-Bloud, so I, at least I didn't sack that off. As right here, they have to switch out, so I'll go for U-Turn. Selly comes in, okay. We'll get in Heatran here. And try to get up my rocks is what I'm thinking. Kieran Black comes in again. I'm gonna hope I can live one. We see that it's actually not the... Okay, they try to predict, and I get that right. Cool. And I'll go Torn now on the next Ice Beam. So they doubled Ice Beamed. Really good play. So we saw it with Z, so that's not that big of a deal. I go for U-Turn here and get my Regenerator health back. Nice, so there's actually potential now that I can see it. So maybe right here, Lopunny? Lopunny Fake Out looks fine. Landers is also not a bad option, but I wouldn't be intimidating something, which is kind of lame. I'll go Lopunny here and see what my opponent wants to respond with. Probably Buzzwell again. I gotta be careful about Roost Buzzwell. Torn is gonna be a good check to that, as well as Heatran late game. x is not gonna outspeed it, so that I do have to keep that in mind right here. If I can Fire Blast into the Celesteela, Lopany can actually win this game, too. I have to scout for the Scarfer, though. I don't think it's Scarf Buzzwell. It could be Scarf Buzz, I guess. Sully comes in, okay. So probably going for Earthquake, if I had to guess. I'll go Heatran here. Leechied misses. That's really good for me. I'll Magma Storm up here. I'm definitely getting a little bit lucky right now. I'm assuming Deontay might come in. Which damage on Deontay is great for Megalopony's high jump kick, so I would take that any day. 
Rotom Wash actually comes in, so now that thing is in range of Hedge Jump Ache, nice. I actually see an endgame in sight with Mega Lopunny, but I still need to somehow get rid of that Buzzwool. I imagine they just Hydro Pump here. I'll taunt it in case they try to defog, is what I'm thinking, yeah. And then... Like, Hydro Pump should be the click. Do I value Heatran anymore? If I'd let Heatran go down, I'm going to be weak to Selly, and I would be weak to Fire-type attacks, too. Do I risk Landorus? I think they tried to Volt here, is what I'm thinking. It just Oko'd me. I wasn't expecting it to Oko. Like, at worst case, what I was thinking was I would get in an Explosion, but I guess it just Oko's. I'll bring out Explod here and see what I can do. And by see what I can do, I mean I just click Boom Burst and hope it does enough. Sully so comes in. Takes a lot. I go Heatran here. On the Leech. I go for Magma Storm. I need to hope I hit into Rotom. I don't hit into Deontay. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, this might be an L. It actually is definitely looking like an L at this point. I'll go Torn here on the rocks. If I had Iron Tail right here, maybe. I'll try to get it in range of my Lopunny out. I got a defense boost. I gotta hope Explod lives one, actually, now. Just because of that. Explod, do you want to take a Moonblast here? Maybe the combination of Heatran plus Lopunny can do it. I don't think so, though. Man, so we had one win, and then we got... I mean, the, the two the other losses weren't really beatdowns. Did I live... Uh, what happened right there? I confused it with my Hurricane. I didn't actually see that. So yeah, it's in range of my Lopunny now. That's cool. I will sack this off. Bring in Lopunny here. Click return. Knock out Deontay. Okay, Buzz comes in. If this is Earthquake... Actually, if it's Scarf, then I think I just lose here. Okay, I didn't freeze it. Uh, is that game? Maybe. It'll come down to a few things. One, can I hit a Magma Storm into Buzzwool? If I do, can I win? No, he still has Hydro Pump on Rotom. I need to dodge those. Okay, I hit into this. Cool. I need to, like, dodge Focus Blast from Victini or whatever it may have. Sully is not the problem. So he has Bolt Strike. Okay. Oh, that's always going to hit, isn't it? Yeah, so my opponent went... Oh, never mind. Okay, so I get rid of that. If I dodge Hydro Pumps... And uh, my opponent hit right there. So it actually came down pretty close. I mean, obviously I hacked my opponent with the Bolt Strike miss, but had they missed the Hydro Pump right there, actually, they Volt Switch, never mind. Volt Switch did do 15, so my opponent was able to go ahead and win. I'm losing a lot of ELO. I do not want to end it off on that loss right there, so I'll go ahead and get another game. All right, I got the next game right here. I do have okay Halucha checks with my Torn and my Banded Landers, but I need to keep both of them healthy, which is going to be tough in this matchup right here. Bandit x I mean, Specs x kind of has fun, though. That's that's pretty cool. I think what I'll do right here is lead off with my... I'm thinking Heatran is not a bad lead. If I lead uh, Landorus, I would probably go Torn. Yeah. Lele leads, okay. So, I don't think I'd take a Specs Focus Blast. But Rocks are so good here, and I don't have a good switch in. Like, Ferrothorn's not going to take the Focus Blast. I'll go for Stealth Rock here. Like, worst case scenario, I'll lose my Heatran, but they go Zam, okay? I'm pretty sure this doesn't even knock me out, so... It would trace Flash Fire, which means I cannot Z this. Makes this a little bit tougher than I would like. Hmm. Man, this thing completely blows my team away. I'm gonna go here into... I'm thinking Ferrothorn. As they Encore me, and they didn't Mega Evolve. Okay, very interesting play there. I'm gonna try to Gyro Ball here. As they Focus Blast, but then they take 87%. I will take that. Psychic definitely knocks me out right here. I don't know if they know that, but... Okay, they do. I got a Calc Torn. Tornadus. Against Alakazam. Psychic under Psychic Terrain. Looks like it blows me away. Wow. No, that's not Bulky Torn, though. I am the pivot torn here, so I do live a psychic, okay. From full, I can bring this out and U-turn. If they have psychic and psy shock, that'll be different, but they psychic and I live it, and that's a double down due to tracing iron barbs. So Landorus is my only check to Halucha left, so I gotta keep that in mind. Okay, I'll bring out Lopunny here. Okay, they got me with the Lele. So I really can't stay in. I gotta go Heatran. 
They get me with a double there too. I'm just going to throw this out, and I'm actually faster. So they were defensive Lando, so that's really nice for me. Like I said, I got to keep my... The thing is, if I explode with Landers, how am I actually winning? Okay, so this comes in. Maybe if I Magma Storm it, I can actually not have to explode, is what I'm thinking. Okay, I do hit. Nice. Which means I do not have to burn my Landers, and I think Landers can actually clean up this game. So I'm going to sack off Explod here as much as I hate doing that. Bring out Low Bunny. I can actually click Fake Out in this against this thing due to the fact that it's flank type, so that's very good. And I actually think Landers can win this game in the late game. Uh, not quite sure why they switched it out. I guess for the ground immunity. I'll go Heatran here. And then I gotta hope Landers can win. Twinkle tackles me there. That's fine. I just go for Magma Storm here. Maybe Pex comes out, is what I'm thinking. I could just Earth Power, but I don't want heat I don't want the Halucha coming in on a sack and me just not hitting it. They stay in, okay. Pain splits me for a bit of damage. I'll Earth Power here, I think you just stay in again. Man, that would be so dumb. Okay, they don't actually do that. Nice. So now this thing would come in. Lele comes in, okay. Gonna Magnum Storm this. It looks like that is probably specs based on the damage. Does Landers live a Psy Shock? Lele. Specs against Landers. Uh, it probably doesn't. And Heatran at 37% probably has to go down with Specs, is what I'm thinking. Scarf wouldn't get that roll, right? Choice Scarf. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely not... It's definitely not Scarf. Scarf would have done less. So I go Lope Bunny here. I think Return knocks this out. Man, keeping that Halucha might actually be smart by my opponent here. Maybe. It'll depend on a few things. Whether I can predict it coming in is one thing. But I also have to hope this Return kills. I think it does. Because I get rid of that. Nice. Pex would have to come out here. Yeah, because you can't get unburdened again. Like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> hmm. I might have to predict the Halucha coming in once, once with my Landers. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Maybe. They just forfeit. Okay, nice. So we pick up a win right there. I'm going to go ahead and end off the live right there. I know it's a little bit shorter, but we just still get five games in. Two and three is definitely not the best, but I still did have a lot of fun with a lot of the games right there. I did hope you all enjoyed, and the team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. I'll see you next time. Later.